All right, last problem I want to go through for you. As long as your phones are away and we can look at this. Okay. So our last one I want to go through is just a transformation. This one, you guys notice our amplitude. Remember, the absolute value of A has been changed to 2. So you can say your amplitude. Remember, is your A the absolute value of it, which in this case is the absolute value of 2, which is equal to 2. Therefore, my graph is going to go up 2 and down 2. Teachers, pardon the interruption. At this time, please dismiss all seniors to the auditorium with their belongings. Thank you. If you remember, your uh, period is going to be 2 pi over B. Um, guys, before you uh, leave, Take, huh? No. Okay. Um, um, take note that your data. 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 <laughs> take note your uh, homework is 35 through 44. 35 through 44. Yep. So we have 2 pi over b. Well, we notice what is our number in front? It's 1, right? Yeah, it's on b. Well, you got 2. Remember, b is 2 pi over b. So what number is in front of that? So it's going to be our 1. So therefore, this is going to be 2 pi. Now, I'm just going to show you what the regular graph is, and then what we'll do is we'll do, a tra we'll do our transformation. Okay? So the regular graph, all we have is this is just your regular parent graph ending at 2 pi. So we have 2 pi. That means that crosses that pi. Um, this was pi over 2. This is 3 pi over 2. So if I was going to look at the regular cosine graph with an amplitude of 2, like I said, this is not the regular graph, so I'm just going to do a little dotted line. Okay. Now, the only reason why I did that is just so we can see now what's going to be happening next. Well, now I have a plus pi. Remember, when you have, a, when you have add or subtract inside of your function, that's going to tell you to shift left or right. So what it tells me to do is I'm going to shift one, unit, one pi to the left. So rather than my at landing point being at 2 pi, it's now going to be at pi. Does everybody see that? <coughs> so I'm going to have to go in the negative direction, or I can shift it you know, over there. It doesn't matter. But now I'm going to do the negative version of these. Negative pi over 2, negative pi. So if I just kind of follow back what I was doing, I would have cross, down, up, over. And that looks like a very ugly cosine graph. Why but it's because it's x plus pi. So that means I'm going to have a trans translation. I'm going to be shifting Trans to the left. Did translation. Shift one? Yes, I'm shifting pi. See, it says shift pi, it was plus pi. So therefore, this is 2 pi, and there's the pi. That means the distance between these two is pi. So I had to shift the whole graph left pi. But now remember, guys, you, you need to graph for two periods. And plus, um, and plus, these are go on forever. So I can just continue this graph. Why am I not? Like this. So therefore, to my complete my two periods, so this would be 2 pi. Um, over 4 pi over 4 and then you guys can just go through it. Does that make sense, my transformation? It might be helpful, like I said, when you guys are doing your shifts left or right, to just draw what it would be without the shift so then you can shift it on your own. See what the shift would be. It might be helpful to start that way. Alright? Otherwise, we're going to show you guys some tips on how to do this now. Yes, Jessica. Yeah, if it was a reflection, then we just flip it. And if it was subtraction, you go the other way? Correct. What if it was like x minus 2 pi? Then you would go, instead of, then you shift over 2 pi. But remember, these go on forever. Right? I mean, so there's only so much, you know, um, shifting you can go until it gets to the exact same graph again. You know, I mean, if you shift, like, you know, if we shift, um, you know, here, if we shift 2 pi, you're going to end up getting the exact same graph over again. Like here's 2 pi here. So if you shift over 2 pi, you get the exact same graph. Any last questions? Mm. No? Wait, what's your name? Did you send to you? 